Hello everybody, welcome to this next episode of Radio Path series by DAMS. This is our attempt to create correlative image based discussion series of both. Uh, we take a disease, we'll discuss the radiological features and the pathological features of a disease. This is going to be done by me, Dr. Sumer Sethi and Dr. Sanjeev Chitraghar and we will together look at the images and try to evaluate together the findings for you so that you get a full picture of a disease. Here we have a patient who is a 10 year old child. So when you see 10 year old child, I'm thinking of pediatric diseases. Immediately I start to list them now. Polyuria. And they, it, he comes to me with a CT brain. This is a CT scan. Of, this is a plain CT scan brain of a child in which you are able to see. This is the area of the supracellar system. And you are able to see a lesion which is hypodense, predominantly cystic, which has calcific outline can you see this rim like calcification now before we go further here we have a pediatric patient supracellar cystic and calcified lesion and I'm sure many of you are already making a diagnosis okay and if I show you the MRI image this is a sagittal T1 weighted MRI image I'll try to familiarize you with the anatomy scene this is the area of the corpus callosum this is the area of the fornix this is the area of the midbrain, this is the aqueduct, colliculi, pons, medulla, cerebellar vermis. So we are in the exact midline sagittal section. This is the sphenoid sinus. You can see the pituitary gland here and you can see the tumor here. Again on MRI image the tumor has some solid components maybe they are and some cystic component which are appearing hypo intense on T1 weighted image. To be sure, I want to see a contrast enhanced image. This is the post contrast image of the same tumor. And you will see the solid areas are enhancing. So this tumor has a solid cystic appearance in the supracellar cistern. And you can identify the pituitary separately. So it is not pituitary origin. It is supracellar origin with both solid and cystic components and CT scan evidence of calcification. So now with this much anatomical appearance, we just want to con confirm the image on the coronal section. This is the coronal T1 weighted section of the brain. And you can see the contrast enhanced image clearly shows you the tumor is separate from the pituitary. And you can see cystic components and the solid components. These are the carotid artery flow voids separate from the tumor. So the diagnosis is, I'm sure many of you could already make up. We are looking at a craniopharyngioma. So I will now invite Dr. Sanjeev to discuss the histological and pathological findings of the same tumor. Yeah. So let's look at the gross pathology of this, the, the gross pathology. Yes, so this is again a <coughs> gross section of the brain. So what I can see is uh, here at the base, here I am seeing a tumor here. I can definitely appreciate a tumor which is having both solid areas as well as cystic areas. I can definitely see some know the brownish color areas here that I am seeing these are definitely cystic areas and also I am seeing some solid areas and probably at this level I can also see some white areas probably may be calcification which was correlating with our radiological image of calcification. I, I must say the images are beautifully correlating you know whatever we see on MRI is the cross. Yeah exactly this uh, this uh, the cystic area where you know the one which were uh, not non-enhancing non ones and definitely these calcified areas which was seen as a rim of calcification that is also seen here right so this was the gross gross of this next is histological examination yes in histology we were seeing both solid areas and cystic areas so before going to the histology let me just tell you about this cystic area the cystic area will have characteristic again if you look at it it will have characteristically fluid which is greenish brown fluid greenish brown fluid this is composed of cholesterol and uh, this what we call it it appears like machinery oil you know the engine oil that we see in around which will be slightly greenish and dark color the machinery oil appearance very characteristic of the fluid that we see and it will be very greasy and that is one of the reasons that the fluid in craniopharyngioma the cyst sometimes you will see they will appear hyper intense on t1 weighted image rather than a, C a fluid filled cyst because of the cholesterol like content so it will be hyper intense on t1 weighted image so that is one of the clues that we use for diagnosis yeah 
So next is you know we had to see the sections, we saw the sections of the solid areas and the cystic separately. Of course the solid areas are showing a lot of cells, I can see a lot of cells and probably some of the macrophages here, these appearing empty appearing are lipid laden macrophages, that is why they are appearing empty which would have probably engulfed some of those uh, the cholesterol that would have been there and I am definitely seeing something like this, the lining of the cells, you know, this re resembles something which occurs in oral cavity that is you know the amyloblastoma or the adamantinomas ok. So, these, re these resemble exactly like that and that is why this, this type of area is adamantinomatous type that is happening here and this is what we are seeing is a palisading, this is a true palisading that is happening, this is nuclear palisading that I am seeing here where nuclei are appearing to fence these tumor cells, you know on contrast to the pseudo palisading which we saw in one of the other cases if you can you can just follow on the other cases of the tumors, brain tumors where I had shown pseudo palisading, this is a true palisading where it is definitely lining, the nuclei are lining this tumor ok and also at this magnification itself I can see something here, look at this, what is this, you know there is a acellular, pink acellular area, pink acellular area, let me magnify this and let me see what is there, oh this was the magnification of that area and definitely I am seeing what? pink areas and it is appearing to be like a pearls, you know keratin pearls, the classical keratin pearls that you get in case of squamous cell carcinoma and in this keratin you are getting some nuclei inside the keratin, normally keratin is what acellular but you are getting what nuclei inside the keratin and that is why we call this as what a wet keratin, it is called as wet keratin, remember this they can, this can potentially be you know important finding wet keratin and this was, the <coughs> we had confirmed this, we confirmed this with the help of a cytokeratin stain, this was a cytokeratin stain, the brown one is showing positivity for the cytokeratin, confirming that it was keratin only and this keratin also you know, sometimes I wonder is it because that you know the craniopharyngiomas, this is a classical craniopharyngioma image which arises from the remnant of the epithelial cells of the Rathke's cleft that will be left, the Rathke's pouch that will be there. So, from there we will be getting these, probably these are those remnants that we can see, okay. And if you look at the cystic areas, if you look at the cystic areas, again we are seeing multiple papillae, this is called as the papilla, papillae are having blood vessel in between and there is a finger like projection, papillae, again I can see this is a cross section of the papillae and in between I am having blood vessel. So, a lot of papillae are there and there is empty space in between, this empty space was probably filled with that fluid that we saw which was drained and you know after we are not having this here, ok. So, papillary areas can be there, so take home message from histopathological findings, papillary areas can be there and adamantinomatous areas can be there and there can be wet keratin and very characteristic palisading tumor cells, palisading tumor cells, yes. So, histologically there are two types that is what adamantinomatous types predominantly papillary type. Now, <coughs> one more thing this craniopharyngioma can do is you can find cholesterol clefts and because of cholesterol you can also find what granulomatous reaction. So, you should not confuse that with any of the other infective causes of granulomas. One more thing is if it invades the brain it can induce what reactive gliosis unlikely but still if it induces reactive gliosis you might end up seeing a <coughs> rosenthal fibers which are again seen in a childhood tumor which is a pilocytic astrocytoma that should not be considered. Okay. So, it, it can be confused with hypothalamic uh, pilocytic acid. Yes, okay. because of the location and you, you get the classical Rosenthal fibers if it is infiltrating. Okay. Now, uh, to summarize what we learned in this case was we had this patient with, uh, if you remember the history was polyuria, probably by looking back, you know, by correlating probably it was a central diabetes insipidus in the clinical history and if you look at the radiological images we had typical location supracellar and the typical age group was childhood and please remember craniopharyngioma is a bimodal distribution tumor not only it can occur in childhood it can be seen in adults as well and it is solid cystic and what did we learn in pathology cysts are machine oil contents so it can appear hyper intense on a T1 weighted MRI image and it would have areas of calcification which are correlating with the Cal calcification yes. of this okay and we also saw that uh, we had areas of uh, sc uh, squamous rest it which was which was probably response. yeah probably because of the rat thank response. you for helping me out so uh, you can see how good uh, radiologists are at pathology we we mess up things sometimes but that is the intent we want to create 
videos which are correlative where you can see both kind of findings together and understand the disease better. So this was the case of craniopharyngioma. We will keep sharing such videos on DAMS Daily channel of YouTube. Please follow us on YouTube at DAMS Daily. Subscribe to us and you will have more such videos from us. Thank you very much. We are signing off from